I have I have from um Florida Rep the Florida Reptile Ranch, Michael Friedman. Supposed to, it's a sub Saharan female. I named her Sarah. You know, sub Saharan. Kind of obvious. She's supposed to be about 1,100 grams. So he packed it good. Packed it real nice. Look at that. Upscale. Heat from above. And I believe she used the bathroom. She is real wet. She has to take a bath. Is the tub up and running? YouTube, I'm going to get cut back to y'all in just a second. All right. Back. Let me get my little bathtub ready. She's the first one to take a bath. She has peed. And let's see. Interesting. Come on, girl. He and Pooh. That is my sub-Saharan. Her name is Sarah. She's about 1,100, almost 11, 1,150 grams. She's pooed, she's peed. She's the one to do for cleaning. Then they go in QT. Which is nice. As you know, Sub-Saharans are from a different part of Africa. They're supposed to get bigger, give you bigger clutches. We're going to find out. All right, on to the next one. While she's giving a bath, get a little cleaned up, smelling good. We have this is hers. We have a uh, Polly. Polly. She is a possible paint. We're gonna find out. Um, let's see. This is from Chris Gay at Slow Country Balls. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. They was nice enough to work with me. I had a payment plan. The animal wasn't much. But I try to get all my animals a little bit at a time. Not in a hurry, not in a rush. I don't want to get too ahead of myself too quick. And she is a possible paint. 
Or maybe she may be just a normal. If she isn't normal, that's fine with me. I have a one nice normal. So far, I have two normals in my collection. I have Big Mama. She's about 20. Take that back. She's about 3,000, maybe 3,200 grams. She is a big girl. Yeah, she's big. She's a big girl. She should be up to breeding size. I'm getting ready to pull her out. And my phone is beeping. Hold on, YouTube. I'm going to chug my charger up and continue on. All right, continuing on. This is the possible paint. Female. He is from Slow Country. Balls. Man, she is big. Look at that pretty. Yeah, she is. Look at her. Nice coloration. Deep in the alien heads. They're not really black. They're brown. I know it might be because of her age. She's not that old. Never been bred. Well, I take that back. She has been bred. She has some nice little patterns on her. Not bad. I love her. Hey, mama. Yeah. Pretty nice. Something to work with. Got a lot of unusual snakes, I say. She might be one of the nice ones. Big mom. Let's check the pad out. Tell her previous bedding was coconut husk. I'm gonna go to coconut husk one day, just not today. The newspaper is fine with me right now. Some of them on snake bedding, um, sandy chips, but it's nice. My girl, her name is Polly. Possible paint. All right, continuing on. This one here came from the gourmet rodent. <clears throat> yep, this is the gourmet rodent. This is my female spark. Her name is Sparkle. Like them names, they catch you, ain't they? And she is about 800 grams, supposedly. She'll be breeding probably March, 1st of April. Look at her. She has the paper. She won't let go.
That's my female spark. She looks good. Make me some pumas. Every snake I have is to make a certain snake I want. Instead of buying them, I'd rather go ahead and make them. Better much better joy in making your own. Hello that girl. You gotta let go of the paper. Yeah, I know. New home. New name. It's good to give your snakes a name. I like a name. Make them feel more family oriented. These snakes can't hear, but <clears throat> I beg to differ. I talk to mine every day, and they look at me like I'm crazy. So either they hear me talking to them, and they think I know, or they don't know. Don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty. And that, y'all, that's the end of my video. See y'all later.